What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a new feature in Rhino 8 that makes modeling on surfaces a lot easier. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so coming over to Rhino as a SketchUp user, I've always found the C-plane system to be a little bit tricky, um, just because usually I'm used to doing more like inferencing on top of faces, other things like that. This can make that a little bit more difficult. However, in Rhino 8, they added a function that allows you to quickly align your C-plane to any object that you have selected, which then means that when you draw, it'll be directly on top of that C-plane. So in order to activate this tool, you want to go down to the bottom menu right here and notice how there's an option here for auto C-plane. And so what happens is once you select auto C-plane, when you select an object, so in this case, I'm going to do a control shift and I'm going to select this surface. Notice what's happening is that C-plane is automatically aligning to whatever you have selected. So if I do the same thing over here, do a control shift, notice how that C-plane automatically moves over here and aligns on this surface. That is actually extremely powerful because what that means is that means that you're now setting your modeling surface to that plane. So now if I was to come in here and I was to draw a door like this one, like this, notice how that's aligned with this surface. And so, like I said, that is extremely powerful. And so now I could come in here and make a copy of this or do whatever I want, but, um, and then I could use the make hole function. So I could select that curve, do a make hole. We'll talk more about that in a future video, but say I wanted to create a hole from this surface, that's actually really easy to do. So now having the ability to align to those C planes is going to make modeling a lot easier. Now, one thing to note about this, and you might see it right here, if you select multiple objects, it's gonna stay aligned to whatever the first thing in your selection was. So in this case, right, I would wanna come over here and I would wanna reselect this edge. So I'm clicking off and then doing a control shift click and selecting um, a surface in order to click back onto that. And so this is aligning to those individual elements. So being able to do that control shift click is going to be extremely important. Now let's say for whatever reason you didn't want this C plane to automatically align. Well, all you would do is you would just come in here, just toggle this off, and then you've got your typical world C plane right here. And so note that your existing C plane functionality is still in there, right? So if I typed in C plane right here and I wanted to set the C plane to like this top of roof height right here, notice how I can still do that using that tool. So specifically in this case, the auto C plane just skips that step of you having to come in here, type in C plane and then pick like a line to surface, for example, and then click on that surface like this. It's just doing that automatically. So those other C plane functions do still live in Rhino. They're still there. It's just that this auto C plane makes making those changes and those alignments significantly faster. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. I'd love to hear both from the people that have been using Rhino for a long time and people that are new to Rhino. Does this change your modeling workflow? Do you think it's a big deal? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.